Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 19th. This is April 2022. And these are collective messages. This is a general message. Collective energy. Worldwide collective. What's collective consciousness energy today? Please have clear, concise messages. Thank you. Amen. On a three. <clears throat> All right. What's the situation? Consciousness situation. Wow, so we have two majors jumping out. This is, um, there's even a major arcana at the bottom of the deck. Look at this, big energy. This could feel like a transmutation of some sort, something being completely transformed, but in a way that is, it's between two worlds. And I say that because of the temperance card here. This is also known as patience. It is a divine timing. You can see she's an angel. Uh, but it's also, I read this to be also this sort of art of war energy. Um, just that, you know, precision. And you can see the combination of the cups here. There's two cups that's commonly known. If this is a love reading for you or a partnership of some sort or your relationship with yourself, right? It's the situation, general message. So we see this duality, right? And we see it again here in the High Priestess. We'll look again. We'll look at that in a second. But this is two worlds. So this is, say, the red and the blue, okay? The female and male. And this is, or the mother and the father, or whatever this is. And it's almost like that, that moment of connection, that mm, sense of alchemy. And this is happening on a grand scale right this could like I said it could feel big to you or it could make itself available to you or you could just be conscious of it but a, a major and it could be travel this is a blending of two worlds this could be mm, two lives brought together I mean we are going to look at this energy in a moment I'm just looking strictly at the temperance right now and the far uh, that I'm pointing to here and um, one foot on land, one foot on water. So uh, this is a, the perfect blending of two worlds. And, you know, in a very blessed way. Right? <clears throat> but paired here with the, the high priestess, so you have a lot of secrets. And I don't, I'm not saying they're yours or the other person's. I'm just saying that there's almost like there's something to this alchemy. There's a secret to it or there's something behind it or there's something deeper here because she holds the book of secrets, right? She holds in even written here, it's the Torah, okay? <clears throat> which is an anagram for a lot of different words and uh, one of them being rota, so the, the wheel. So there's this um, perfect blending that's going to be established here, but so far it's mysterious. If not secretive, it's mysterious. It's, it's a great mystery. It's the grand mystery. Um, it could be perhaps some sort of communion. This could be a blending of two different worlds, again, for you or someone else or in your environment. <clears throat> this could be uh, entirely different viewpoints as well. Cultures even, right? I mean, these are, if an, an angel is holding these cups in between land and sea, so there's a perhaps even a marriage here. And the two of cups, Symbolically within the tarot in the minor arcana is the couple card, the partnership card. So could be an element to that. Here you have the pillars, okay, that 
grand balance. So this is moon energy and this is um, Sagittarius energy here with temperance. Sagittarius brings a lot of luck. So there's, this is, I consider this a lucky card as well. Uh, patience, right? Patience is key. Patience and mystery or patience with mystery, mysterious processes. But um, feeling blessed here and not really knowing why or not understanding perhaps the next step, but just feeling there's very grand scale uh, perhaps acceptance here as well. Moon is um, night, it's shadow, it's the unknown. And typically is something to com be considered, it's like the underwater, like the deep sea, it's like it's scary, there, it's the unknown, we don't know everything there is to know about it, so there's this great mystery. Uh, unfolding here. All right, what are your thoughts? You are the other person's thoughts about the situation. This could be any major dynamic that makes two worlds different, by the way. It can be, I don't know, um, if this is about, say, a job or, say, career path for you, for example, this could just be about moving from one, say, um, seemingly unrelated career choice to another. Um, something that would even seem unusual. But there's a blessing here and divine timing. All right, what are your thoughts? Who are the other person's thoughts? Intuition is featured highly here as well with the High Priestess. Look at this other major arcana jumping out for thoughts. So there's the Empress. So we go from High Priestess to Empress energy. We have Venus featured here. This could this is just very attractive energy. This is um <clears throat> Where this is perception, this is reception. This is receptive energy. This Empress carries the energy of all the queens. So she has all the elements of... She's every woman <laughs> here in the thoughts, right? So uh, this could be a mother, your mother. You could be the mother, someone's mother. Um, if this is a grand sort of global thing for you, it could be Mother Earth, you know, with Whatever you're thinking of here, it is the Divine Feminine, okay? Uh, there could be a pregnancy featured here or wanting to create something. We have Taurus and Libra featured here as well. But <clears throat> we have the possession, the comfort, uh, the ownership, and then the partnership. Um connections featured with that Libra energy but it's uh, projective so you have both of those energies here she gives and she takes but it's um, it has to be on a divine level it's very especially with all three majors here this is just very there's something luxurious about this there's something that feels Say so your thinking is really profound about those types of concepts here in the situation, which for the purposes of today's reading will always be the temperance card and the high priestess. Creativity is, it could be through the roof here. You could be thinking creativ creatively <laughs> about how to blend these two worlds, for example, or how to, say, be in receptive mode. You could simply be thinking in this energy around this mystery, around <clears throat> the blending of these worlds, as it were. Maybe it's just about how to make something practical, because we have earth and air energy featured in uh, Venus, right? 
in the Empress. So it could just, you know, how to bring that artwork or something that you may consider a work of art to uh, life here as well. What are your feelings? You are the other person's feelings about the situation. There's a great deal of abundance here as well. This is prosperity here with the Empress. So abundance thinking. All right, that's a um, huge chunk of cards. Three cards or less, please. What are your feelings? You are the other person's feelings. Uh, three cards or less, please. <laughs> I would get, um, cool. Uh, honestly, these videos would just be so long if I kept taking all the cards, but um, they're interesting in personal readings. If all the cards jump out, I do read them that way, but I do have to shorten it for the purposes of this video. So, okay, so this is feelings. We have four cards. So, yeah, a lot of powerful information here, okay, because of these major arcana energies. So situation, grand, big deal. Thinking about it, grand, big deal. Here we have in feelings, a lot of passion. Look at this. We could have an age difference. We could have a water sign, air, uh, fire sign, or someone with that in their chart, or this type of energy, someone who's romantic, poetic, heart in their sleeve, um, musician. You know, we have this young artist here, just energy, or it could just be a young male. And then we have this older, passionate um, really fiery type of energy female. So we have someone who is typically, I see with the black cat here, considered to be a little bit of an outcast, but it's only because she can do everything on her own. And the thinking about this as well, this is highly entrepreneurial energy. So whether this is someone in your environment, this could just be your energy, your personal energy here, right? Regarding this situation. But this is, um, it's magical. I consider her to be one of the minor arcana magicians, frankly. And um, we'll see if the king shows up. If that's the case, I would say that there could be some sort of manifestation here. But... And then to her right, we have the Ten of Wands. We saw him yesterday and the Eight of Wands. So, wow, a great deal of communication around this romantic, entrepreneurial energy. This could literally be artwork. This could be something that feels, if it isn't an actual love reading, if it is a love reading and this is just literally about passion, this is someone in their heart who feels uh, oh, perhaps even overwhelmed and in their heart needs to communicate how much passion they have. Um, but for, you know, business, for example, this is something where, and this could be the blending of the world, where you could go from, I don't know, say career in finance to just like a career in the arts, right? Just painting, for example. I don't know. Um, but that's just an example. Something with your heart, if this is your energy, if it's not, it could be someone coming in, as I say, a uh, poetic sort of sensitive type male, or someone who just wants to wear their heart on their sleeve here, if it isn't about actual artwork. Leading your own way is a large part of this as well, and I feel... that something that there is the burden here with the 10 it's the overburden but if it is about a passion like it is about expression like whether you even share this with anyone else or not i feel like there could be an element within your heart here or your heart space just about the act of creation <laughs> so whether anyone sees it or whether you crumple it up and throw it away etc right i uh, think it's more important here 
particularly in your heart now and you could even be waiting for this or there could be some sort of oh I don't see that yet in terms of a waiting but there could just be hmm a sense that there's something I don't know brewing here this and there's an immaculate sense to it it's a really um, persuasive energy it's like it's got you it's it's got a different vibe this definitely for a situation especially I haven't seen two majors for a situation in a long time so something just feels like it could be in the middle of something perhaps a birth of actual some sort here but good news all the same we the 10 doesn't necessarily mean it's negative it just means it's going to be, uh, the end is near, the end is in sight, so this communication is probably, it's, you know, a, create something here, get something off your chest is what I would say, whether it's sent or not, whether this has to do with anyone else or not, or whether you have an art show, for example, and you need one more piece, just do something, so you have something, that type of thing, and then, you know, and, and then inspiration could strike after that. You could, you could be in the middle of something that doesn't seem related and then inspiration will strike. So do something anyway. You want physical, I think you know this here in your heart space or you need to be reminded here is like, just take action here on your feelings. Uh, what's the most probable outcome for this situation? Most probable outcome. flip around in the deck there all right indecision <laughs> interesting so uh and this is mental energy right this is non-communication but again we have this two we have this duality okay <clears throat> duality featured in the pillars duality in the cups um duality i would even say in these uh elements the water and the fire so most probable outcome is needing to make a decision. This is sitting on the fence, but the, I don't think this is anything to sit, sit this one out on, for example. Mm. Yeah, it's just, there could just be a feeling of um, defeat. So, and we'll look at that and I'll explain that in a moment because... This is, like I said, mental energy. This could just be old programming for yourself. Someone could be whispering or in, in your ear, this type of thing. Whenever I see the swords, we see it over here. We see some swords energy over here. So we see perhaps these this overthinking or outside energy or a closing off of the heart. And here we see this sense of like a poverty of the heart here. So, you know, and I kind of, it's just, hmm. I think it's a I think it's a good time to raise the bar on what you think is possible because with this indecision something's going to be made anyway here. Something needs to be produced anyway. Um, and if it's in the way of thinking, I would just start acting here. Take action. Because a second chance, right? We have here in outside influence you could just be afraid of that second chance or, or rejection or rejecting someone else or just feeling like overthinking. And it does have to do with the celebration here. There could be a second chance here, but with the Ten of Swords, it is thwarted. There's a thwarting of this. 
So I think there'll be another opportunity opposite of the celebration card or reunion card here is, you know, judgment is an actual call. So <clears throat> this person, you or the other person or the situation could just be incommunicado or just feel completely defeated. That's an overkill card, right? So I feel like there could be another opportunity here if um, if this sense, you know, this divine feminine brings about, it can be chaotic. It's not fixed and rigid, right? It's the, it's the, uh, the flowing, it's the moving, it's the changeable. So, you know, that can be unsettling in some ways, but decisions do need to be made. And, um, a reunion is possible. In your inner world or your uh, subconscious feelings or thoughts or the other person's is the Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the King of Cups. So there's a lot of hidden deep emotion here with this guy, but this is mastery. He's mastered his emotions. The Queen of Swords talks about the she's seen everything. She's just cold um, energy. She comes across as cold, she's distant, so there could just be some distance here with regard to how lush you can feel about your own feelings with the Nine of Cups. There could just feel like you have to cut off some deep feelings here even though a wish hadn't been granted somehow and here's where the overall vibe or overall energy for the reading is the five of pentacles it's the rejection card with the ace of cups so an offer of love so this is just feeling left out and we have that distance here again more mental energy so there could just be a little bit between you know a battle um between the mind and the heart there as well you could be dealing with an older water sign male any water sign and then an older air sign female there's two queens here there could be some um, maliciousness, but yeah, a second chance is available. You can choose to please yourself here. You can choose to give yourself what you need today. This Ace of Cups really is a new way to appreciate perhaps what you already have. So that is everything. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. See you in the next one. Bye for now.